Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Free Pattern Friday. Yes, I've decided I'd share a few free patterns with you and a new skill I taught myself this week. Why Free Pattern Friday? Well, I buy a lot of patterns and sometimes the budget doesn't quite make it there and people are doing it tough. So I thought I would share a couple of free patterns with you that I am currently doing or thinking about doing and um, you can check them out and see if you want to do them. So what skill did I teach myself? Well, bit of a story. When I do knitting or crocheting, I do the magic knot join and I've never really been happy with it, especially in knitting. No matter how well I do it, it still seems to show a little bit. The ends don't come out when I weave it, all the ends in and what have you, but I've always been curious about the Russian join. So I decided with all my bits of scraps, I would practice the Russian join. Now there is a tutorial on how to do it, which I watched and I really got into it. I really like it. I think it works really well. So. You make like a magic ball with a magic knot. So this is a magic Russian join ball of scraps. Ta -da! So I have practiced. This is one ball that I have made and I'll show you what I'm using it for. I did it because when you have bits and pieces of scraps, and I've said before, for me, scrap yarn is 49 grams or less. It can be as little as a gram, but if it's 50 grams, then I class it as a ball of yarn and it goes back into stock. But if it's 49, it can be scraps, especially if I don't particularly like it. And I have a lot of little scraps and I did the Russian join. I taught myself, I love it. I'm getting better at it. And it was good practice doing a magic scrap ball. That is one that I'm currently knitting and I'll show you what I'm knitting. And that is another one. What I do is, I have a ball of yarn started and then I rush and join one, hand it to Thing and he winds the ball and he gives it me back and I'll rush and join another scrap piece and he winds it on and it's been a bit of a activity while it's been raining uh, for us to do. And he usually goes, got any more? So that one I'm currently using, that will be the second one. When this runs down, I will rush and join this to it. I am wrapped. I think the Russian join will suit, really suit the lighter weight yarns. I, the magic knot for me with a four ply and less, like, isn't great. But I think the Russian join will be fine. So, which brings me to my free pattern Friday. So, I was looking for a um, scrap gan, lap gan to make. And I have made a lot of crocheted ones, especially last year. For charity and I thought it would be great to make a knitted one and also support Soxy Nana's Soxy Scrappy Make Along 2023. So I was looking for a pattern and on Ravelry I found Lily's Scrap Blanket. I have to pause you, I didn't bring my glasses. Got the glasses. Sorry if there's a, the lighting's not great, it's very overcast, yes we're getting more rain. Webster Street Knittery by Jennifer Peck. Lily Scrap Blanket. That's it there. Ta-da! It's knitted. Now, it's... A, I am knitting it in 8-ply or 3-weight or DK because that's what my magic balls are. And I am knitting it for um, Soxy Nana Scrappy Make Along. I'm just going to do a few rows each day or each week and I'm going to knit it all year. I am just going to do, what is it, be free to do whatever I want. So here it is. Ta -da, that's the wrong way. Ta -da, can you see my scrappy yarns? Why have I got stitch markers? Well, my muscle memory kept playing up. And with the variegated yarns, I kept losing my place as to where I had to dip and where I had to duck. So I've got it stitch marked at the moment all the way along. So I think it's like 240 stitches. And it will be a very colourful knitted lap gown. 
So that's my first free pattern for Free Pattern Friday. It's on Ravelry and all the links for the patterns will be in the um, description below. Lily Scrappy Blanket. That looks great. She's got a photo here. I can see if I can show it without showing where she's done it like that. So, yes. If you don't know how to do a Russian join and you're a bit of a slow learner like me, I suggest watch the tutorial and give it a go. It is perfect for scraps. My problem with constantly doing scrap blankets is deciding on what colours should come next. So now when I've done them, I can't remember and it's going to be a surprise. And whatever colour is joined next just goes along and comes along. So the Russian join and Lily scrap blanket, my first free pattern for free pattern friday and that's for my friends the knitters so not forgetting my crochet friends and now i have to see if i can fire up my ipad because yes i do have internet for about 30 seconds um sorry about this so i'm doing am a groomy wars and i'm always looking for different patterns I do have some paid for ones that I'm actually doing, going to spread out through the year because I have quite a few. And rather than keep spending money when I should be saving, I look for some free patterns to vary it up a bit. And I came across this one. Now, I don't know if you've heard of the little book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but there you have it. There is a, oh, I hope that doesn't flip, a free pattern for The Very Hungry Caterpillar. There is two. That one is the one I'm doing because I had those colours in my scrap stock or yarn stock, depending on how much I need. And that is 8-ply, 3-weight DK. But there's also another one by a different designer for 4-weight, 10-ply, Aran weight, which probably would work out better because I have started this. I'll show you and I'll tell you who the pattern is by. On Ravelry, not all the free patterns in the future I'll talk about come from Ravelry. This one is by Karen Goss. And I've started him. So this is going to be the head. So it's going to be quite a small caterpillar with the eight ply. But I didn't have all the colours in the um, four weight or ten ply. Um, our own way. I don't carry a lot of that and green is really hard to get up this way. I don't know why. I don't particularly like green but I think maybe because the rainforest surrounds us and there's green everywhere they think we don't want green yarn especially in the heavier weight. So yes he's not even stuffed yet or finished so it's going to be quite a small caterpillar but I think the very hungry caterpillar is very very cute so I'll put a link to both of those different uh, patterns in the description below. And if you're doing Amagurumi Wars, and yeah, we can't always keep buying patterns. It's perfect for a free pattern, and I think it'll be fairly quick to make. So that is pattern number two. Now this one I haven't started. Also for Amagurumi Wars, and I thought because it was cheap and it had free written all over it, it is... And I've just taken off the glasses again. <laughs> the Baby Yoda pattern. And I'm trying to see. I'll have to do it that way so you can't see the pattern. It says on it, free pattern. This is also on Ravelry. And I think I might give him a go in the future because I think Baby Yoda is pretty cute in that pattern. And it looks fairly straightforward. Um... I think it's US, and but this also is 8-ply, might be English, I don't know. I'll take it out of the sleeve. So there's also 3-weight, but I'm sure if you did 4-weight, you would just go up a hook size. Um, what's the hook size they recommend? Doesn't really recommend... Just says three were at uh, eight ply. Doesn't really say on here four millimeter, which is normal for eight ply, which means would make it really holy. I would probably go down to a three millimeter, 
and um, and if you were going to do it in a 10 or 12 ply, then I would use a four millimeter and get the really tight um, weave. So yes, free pattern baby Yoda. So they are my free patterns to help you along with your decision making and research and whatever and your budget because um, I stopped off at our local fruit and veggie shop just down the road and came home and said, wow, everything's gone up again. Prices are just going silly at the moment. So yes, what do you think to my knitted blanket? Do you think my knitted scrappy blanket? Do you think it's going to look pretty good with all the different colours? I'll show you as I progress along. But like I said, it will be slow work because I will only be doing a couple of rows a day or a week, depending. I'm doing a lot of knitting big projects at the moment, trying to catch up. Sorry, drop the glasses. I wonder I'm always buying glasses. And yes, have you ever made a magic ball? using it magic knot or the Russian join for your scraps and then knitted something up, you know, after a while so you forget what colours are in what order and just being surprised. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of my little hungry caterpillar. I think he's really, really cute. So until next time, I hope your weekend ahead is a lot of fun. You have a lot of crafting time and time with your family. Stay safe, stay well, and don't forget, keep crafting. Bye for now.